So uh, I am trying to introduce you to the unit circle. It's called the unit circle because it has a radius equal to one unit. So one centimeter, one inch, one foot, it's actually not important. The fact that the radius of this circle is one. And the unit circle is built from a number of things that are, are familiar with you, familiar to you, or should be familiar to you. So I'm trying to draw a 45 degree angle there, approximating a 45 degree angle. And I'm also trying to draw a 30 degree angle. So I'm gonna tell you that that angle there is 30 degrees. I'm gonna complete the right triangle. And so you should be familiar with this. This is a special right triangle. This is the 30, and in your head you should have said 60, the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Now as we talked about in class briefly, I think, the 30, 60, 90 has a set of ratios that look like, if we go back to geometry, we would write it like this. The shorter leg opposite the 30 degree angle has the length of B, and then the hypotenuse would have a length of 2 times that value, or 2B, and the longer leg opposite the 60 degree angle would have a length that is equivalent to B times the square root of 3. So that means, for instance, if I had a triangle that had a, a 30-60 degree, 30-60-90 triangle that had a short leg that's measure is 7 centimeters, then you should know straight away that the hypotenuse would have a measure of 14 centimeters and that the length of the longer leg opposite the 60 degree angle should have a measure of 14 times the square root of 3 centimeters. So, quick review of the special right triangle 30, 60, 90. Taking that into account, and I believe I introduced this in class, both, of, both classes, if this hypotenuse has a length of 1 because it is the radius of this unit circle, then it turns out the length of this leg, which is the short leg, is one half of that. Remember, b to b. So if this is equal to one, this must be equal to one half. So this measure is one half. And the measure of this x-axis, excuse me, the measure of this x component, or the longer leg opposite the 60 degree angle, is one half times the square root of 3. But I'm going to tell you we're going to write it in this manner. We're going to multiply it out and have the square root of 3 over 2. Now, we, again, we did this in class, but we're going to try to extend it. If this were a point on the circle, and the point on that circle is the point of tangency at this radius, what would its coordinates be? I'm hoping you're telling me that its x-coordinate be, would be the length of this leg. So the x-coordinate would be the square root of 3 over 2. And the length of this leg corresponds to the, the y-coordinate, which would then be 1 half.